friends! Welcome to Science Club Online. Um, today we're going to be talking about surface tension. And today we're going to be doing an experiment that I've seen a lot online that has been trying to illustrate how the virus that everyone's talking about right now um, can be cleaned off your hands with soap. Which, soap and water is definitely the best way to protect yourself from this virus. Um, but the experiment that people are showing is not quite what's happening. It's a very good illustration if you want to show a younger sibling um, what's going on and why it's important to wash their hands. But today I know you guys are a little more advanced, so I'm going to show you what's really going on um, with both the, the virus and the surface tension experiment. So let's get started. One more quick note I wanted to say to everyone who's watching, to all the parents, um, while we're doing Science Club online, I'm going to try my best to only use ingredients that I have at home. And if there's something in these experiments that you can't find in your house, then you can try and be creative and use something uh, very similar and see if you can recreate the experiment that way. That's an experiment in itself. And if not, then feel free to just watch along. And when we come back to doing in-person experiments, uh, I can repeat some of these and you guys can join in with me. So for now, watch along online and see if you have the ingredients in your own home. And yeah, looking forward to doing all these science with you online. <laughs> all right, so for our first experiment, we're gonna need a dish or a pot plate or a normal plate, as long as it has just some edges around the rim. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some water and we'll pour that in just like this. All right, so when you have enough water in your dish, you're going to take some pepper and you're just gonna sprinkle some pepper in and as you see, it's gonna float across the surface. And so the more you have spread across the surface, the better you're going to see the effects of this. Oh, also it might make you sneeze. <laughs> so as you guys can see, the pepper is all spreading across the surface. So what people are saying about this experiment online is this is the example. They're saying, if you put your hands into this right now, and you touch it, pepper, the pepper gets all over your finger. I don't know if you guys can see that. All over your finger. But if we were looking at the pepper now, and I take some dish soap, and I put some dish soap on my finger before I put it in the water, watch what happens to the pepper. The pepper all runs away from the soap that was on my finger. And you can see now it's all around the edges of the bowl and not anywhere near the center or on my fingers. So what's causing this? Well, the explanation online is that if your hands are dirty and they don't have any soap on them, then when you touch the pepper, the pepper is like germs or it's like the virus and it just sticks to your finger and then it's stuck to you. But if you have washed your hands and you've washed your hands with soap, then what they're saying is when you touch anywhere near the pepper, it goes away, all the germs go away, all of the bacteria and everything disappears. But what's actually happening here is something called surface tension. So the surface tension of the water is affected by the soap on your finger. So the reason why is because soap is amphiphilic. So amphiphilic is a science term that means the soap is both hydrophobic and hydrophilic. So I know those are also big fancy science words, but basically um, it's saying that it is at the same time it is attracted to the water and repelled by the water. It breaks the surface tension of all the water molecules holding together because the water is trying to distance itself from the soap. It's almost like a magnetic effect when you put two poles of magnet together that are the same, they're going to repel each other. So the soap and the water is repelling each other and the this makes the pepper move to the edges of the bowl because the water is rushing away from the soap and it brings the pepper with it. 
So if that's what's happening with the surface tension on the water, what's happening with the virus in real life? The virus um, can be thought of more like a balloon. So if you have a balloon, and that's the edge of the virus is the outside of the balloon, what's happening with the soap is actually even better. So what the soap does is the soap breaks down the outside coating of the virus that's protecting it from everything around it, and it actually, the soap is like a pin hitting the balloon and the virus breaks. It opens, it explodes, and that is actually much, much better <laughs> than just pushing it away from you, right? So when you wash your hands with soap and water, you want to make sure you get lots and lots and lots of soap all over your hands, um, in all the cracks, in all of the areas of your hands, and then you want to make sure that once you've exploded the virus, then you want to wash it off your hands with running water. So that is why uh, hand washing is actually very effective against any kind of virus or bacteria, but especially this one. So yeah, keep washing your hands with lots of soap and water. <laughs> All right, next we're going to do my favorite version of this experiment, and it's my favorite because it gets very colorful. So what we're going to use is we're going to use milk this time instead of the water. So you're going to pour the milk into a dish, just like we did with the water last time. And then we're going to take some food coloring and now we're going to see how some soap affects the food coloring in the milk. Wow, so the reason why this happens with the milk is because the milk actually has some fat molecules in it. And the fat molecules are attracted to the soap, which is why you can see this effect of them spreading away, but then also coming back towards it. So the fat in the milk is a little bit different than the water that we used before. And yeah, then you get this really pretty effect. Alright, now that we know how surface tension works, let's try this again, but let's see what happens when we put different objects in the water. So let's try with a paper clip, and we'll see what happens with the paper clip. So the first trick to this um, is to get the paper clip to float on the water. Oh, yes, okay. Sometimes it's a little trickier <laughs> than uh, getting it on the first try. But so we'll get the paper clip to float on the water. And what do you guys think will happen if we add some soap? Any guesses? Let's try. Oh, you dropped it right to the bottom. So in this case, First you saw we pushed them around with the, with the soap and what was happening was as the surface tension continued to break, then it dropped the paper clip right through, right to the bottom of the water. All right, so now we'll do a water change and test out something else. Here I have a little paper boat. Let's see what happens to this guy. Oh. Hmm. 
Using the soap, we can repel the paper boat across the water. What other objects do you guys think you could try? Test them out on the water and let me know how it works. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thanks for joining me guys. Uh, if you have any questions about what we did today, or you have ideas for future science experiments we can do online together, leave those in the comments below and I'll check them out. Thanks for joining me and uh, make sure you keep washing your hands and take care of those around you at home. Alright, see you later guys. Bye!